If you are currently using messenger marketing or messenger bots in your business, I wanna talk in this video about why you actually should not be building your business around that model. Let me explain. So firstly, if you're new to my channel, welcome here. My name is John Pemothy. I help business owners and entrepreneurs grow their businesses and get more customers online and do that profitably. If you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, I'll leave a link to a free training that I've got in the description box and the top comment you can check out at any point during this video. But in today's video, I wanna talk about something that is uh, very, very important to me that you understand, that you grasp, and, and that you really think seriously about how you're building this whole model of uh, messenger marketing and Facebook Messenger and Messenger bots into your business, you know, because one thing I'm becoming more and more focused on in my company, it's really two things. One is simplicity, and I've talked about this a lot in other videos, so we're not gonna go into that in this one, but but the, the, the topic there is really t dialing in our sales funnels, dialing in our ads, not trying to go so wide that we've got loads of different ads, loads of different funnels, but really keeping everything simple. That's the first thing, and that's helped grow my company. The second thing is being data driven, being focused on the numbers, right? Like I'm learning more and more to uh, remove emotion and feeling and assumption from my marketing. I, I wanna just go and look at the stats and I've got some stats to share with you here in a minute. I wanna look at the stats and see what is the data telling me about what works and also just where is everything moving? Where's everything going? Right, and so I wanna make sure that I'm following uh, you know, the, those trends, right? And, I, and I'm paying attention to what's going on in the landscape, not just like what I think or I hope will work, you know? And so there's been this big boom over the past few years of Facebook Messenger, right? And there's been software applications that have popped up like, like ManyChat here, I think there's a bunch of others. My good friend's got another one called Chatmatics, I believe it is. There's a bunch of them that have popped up, you know? And they're really, really awesome tools, it's essentially an autoresponder for Messenger. So you can have people sign up like they would do to your email list and have the ability to follow up with them via email and, and, and increase revenue that way. And you've got software like ManyChat that will allow you to have people subscribe to your ManyChat list. And you'll be able to follow up with them as well, but rather than sending them emails, you're of course sending them messages in their Facebook inbox, right? And everyone has kind of jumped on this thing. And, and one thing that I saw from the very beginning that made me feel very nervous is that people were making, building their messenger list, the front end of their business. You know, like, like we, we talk about it as like the doorway to our business. If you look at um, most uh, information businesses or coaching businesses or anything like that, usually the front door, the doorway is is a name and an email, right? You're building your list, you're getting them on your autoresponder and that's like the first step. And that is an asset, by the way. If you actually build an email list of people, you know, that, that's an asset. Even if an autoresponder decides to shut you down, okay, or don't like, and they show, like you can download your list into an Excel spreadsheet and you can upload it into another autoresponder. That is the asset. The data is the asset that you hold and you can upload it into another account. The trouble with Messenger is that Messenger is not the same. Messenger is not actually an asset. The, 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 the um, Facebook profiles that you are collecting inside ManyChat or, or whatever software you're using, that data is not owned by you, that is still owned by Facebook. If at any point <clears throat> Facebook decide to just shut you down, they don't like what you're doing, they close your account, maybe you've sent messages out from within ManyChat that they just didn't like the wording of what you said and they, they closed your, your account, that's it, that list is gone. Right? It's not yours, you can't download it, you can't upload it into another software, it's gone. So it's not, it's not an asset that warrants building your business around. And so coming back to what I was saying, I was nervous in the beginning seeing people jumping on this trend and actually running their Facebook ads directly into Messenger, right? Like running ads to cold traffic, never heard of their business, brand, product or service before. And the first doorway now was not email, but it was join the Messenger list and then following up with them that way. And then a secondary thought was to get them on to the email list. But you're not going to get a, a, a huge portion of people that joined Messenger to also join your email list. So it's, it's worrying, right? And what we have seen over the past few months, and even actually the past few years, the, 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 the past few years, <laughs> the past few years, is the regulations over Messenger marketing have been getting tighter and tighter and tighter. The things you can do inside of ManyChat uh, are, are, are getting a little bit more limited and more limited and more limited. And we're gonna get to a point where actually it's not, we're not gonna be able to do things like, you know, I mean, we, we've only got 13,000 people in here. I say only because that's actually, it's quite small in comparison to 
uh, you know, email lists and things like this. Um, but 13,000 people, right now I can still send a message to all of those people. Oh, just punch my screen. <laughs> to all of these people and they will get that message. Soon we're not gonna be able to do that, you know, it's just not gonna be that, that way. And so everyone seems to talk about messengers booming and email is dying. I'm looking at it going again, where I'm like very focused on just what is, what is happening on the landscape. I, I wanna remove emotion, remove excitement for something new. I just wanna see what is going on. Email has stood the test of time. Now open rates and click through rates are going down. I'll give you that because I pulled up an example here real quick which is that uh, this is one of our uh, autoresponders. We use Infusionsoft. So we've got 241,000 contacts in here. Now, that's a lot of people, okay? That's been built over the past few years. Not all of them are still active now. Um, you know, so it's not, you know, don't think that that's like a list that's like super duper powerful where we get, you know, like 50% of those people opening an email and we can send 100,000 people to any link that we want. It's not quite that powerful, but you'll find that about, you'll get maybe like 10, 15%, 20% open rates, something like that. Click through rates probably, uh, you know, one, two or 3%. Whereas over here on ManyChat, what you'll find is although we've only got 13,000 people, um, open rate is almost 100%. It's ridiculous actually. When we send a, an email to the, you know, all of these people, we're gonna get 95% open rates and sometimes 85% click through rates. So sometimes what we will find, it doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes we'll find we get more clicks from our 13,000 person messenger list to an offer than we would do from 241,000 people on our email list. So hearing that, you would go, oh, that sounds amazing, so we need to focus on building this. But I don't want to, I want to build this asset and I want to use messenger as a secondary thing. So this is my, I guess my word of warning to you. Is that just be really careful with, with what you're doing with Facebook Messenger. It's exciting for now, like there is a bit of an opportunity there, but you've got to make sure that you're, you're, you're protecting your business for longevity. If, you're, if your foundation is built on Messenger, if something happens with Messenger, if the, if the regulations change again, or if this, that and the other, or if you do something wrong and your account gets pulled down, is your business gonna be up crap creek without a paddle, right? If it is, then you've gotta got rethink what you're doing. Here's a strategy that I'm using that you may find helpful. So what, what we're using ManyChat for is that we're using ManyChat as the secondary thing. So we get the email as the primary thing as our front door into our business, and then we give them a chance to access some additional training down here with a button that goes through to join our messenger list, and then things roll out from there. Email first, messenger second. That's why our, our email list is primary in terms of numbers and our messenger list is still growing. It, we've only built these people purely, like hear me on this, purely from that strategy of them signing up to a messenger. I call it a messenger magnet, right? The lead magnet is the webinar and the messenger magnet is that thing they can opt into next, all right? So anyway, hopefully that was helpful for you and, and somewhat insightful. I just really wanna make sure that you are understanding where your focus should be uh, and I wanna be talking to you like I would be talking to my clients, all right? So if this was helpful, uh, there's a free training I've got that I think you'll really like. It lays out the whole plan of how I've generated literally millions of dollars online selling online courses and coaching through a very simple funnel and a very simple ad process. I'd love to teach it to you. There's a link in the description box and a top comment. Do go check that out. If you haven't already, hit the like button on this video and leave me a comment. Let me know if you're currently using Messenger and in what capacity are you using it and are you enjoying it? And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and do that. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification. We're putting out a ton of new videos like this every single week that I think you'll find really helpful. I will see you in a future video.